wine today. Welcome to Arizona! <laughs> <laughs> that part. You didn't mention <laughs> dial in the temperature you want. Uh, I went a little even cheaper than that and just went to Radio Shack and bought a, uh, you know, one that was dialable. I thought I was going to use it for uh, the spade lugs and for the soldering of the small items. It actually turned out to be easier for me instead of changing tips because I saw it finally and I noticed that it was short. Easy fix. Uh, I did make a mistake on one board and, and soldered in a, two of the, the pointed tips. I'm on my third one. You know, for the To the, to the Christmas side last year, uh, one of the big problems that I see on the Halloween side is that we pay a lot of attention to props, to makeup, to staging, you know, and, and everything. And lighting is absolutely the last thing Halloween people think about. It starts to get dark, you know, you start to turn things on and start your hunt. It's like, oh my God. Uh, I do things exactly opposite for Halloween. Um, than we do uh, for Christmas. Uh, I had 45 or so separate animatronics that I built uh, for my haunt, and um, and they all run standalone. So uh, you know, none of them are connected. The only thing I have connected to my computer uh, last year is I had DMX floods running. So uh, when I really started building my own props and and uh, got into this, there really wasn't a good system for doing any of that. Uh, there was one that was a $500 controller um, that we could run our three axis on standalone. Well, um, I've got eight or ten standalone talking skulls.
What are you making there? Chocolate covered strawberries. Who doesn't love chocolate covered strawberries? I know. They I know. look great. It's not Valentine's Day yet, but had to do something for the guy. I know. Yet. They look fantastic. <laughs> But some people, it does get transposed all the time. Different people go different ways. Um, we're going to cover this. Like I said, we're going to move through really, really fast on a lot of this stuff. Uh, what is RGB lighting? What's the differences with RGB lighting? Some of the underlying controlling of RGB lighting. What you can do with it as far as strings, strips, and modules. It's kind of hitting a lot of places um, is the video mapping, 3D video mapping, or other forms of video mapping. Um, it's kind of one of the hot new issues, you know, hit hot hit things to do. Um, I'm going to be working on probably this year. And this is just a, a, a level overview of different buildings and what they've done with them. And all they've, all they've fundamentally done is, is taking a projector. Actually, just the, all, the going down the line. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just literally, and that's why it's the most. Quote unquote good. I mean, we can, you know, I, I, I feel free to interrupt, and I was thinking more of this session as an open discussion rather than me being a professor. Uh, you know, so we can talk about, you know, this is very much an artistic topic. There's no one right answer to what makes a good sequence. More trying to pull together information from different parts of the forum and other places, saying you know, because we hadn't had a refresher. I mean, the, the first list is about the surely right phase. general information and some of the things I've done for safety and also for ease. There's so many different styles of doing mega trees out there. There's flagpoles, there's the, the monk the, the monk house um, jump pole. 